Hello everyone, welcome to my math presentation. This is CM Imran and today we will discuss perimeter and area of simple geometrical figures. Okay, this is a very important chapter. So before introducing with this chapter, I want to uh, introduce with you some formulas. Okay, so let's uh, first we will discuss about the area and the perimeter of a triangle. You know what is a triangle? Okay, it has uh, three angles and three sides. So the area of triangle is half into base into height. Okay, so here I have uh, drawn uh, one triangle and here another one. So in this triangle, the height from this point to this point, this line is called height and this one is base. It may be height, it may be base too. Okay, but in this triangle, this one is my height and this side is called base. Okay, so the area of triangle is half multiplied with base multiplied with height. And what is the perimeter of triangle? I have written here A plus B plus C. What does it mean? A means one side, B is another side and C is another side. So if uh, we add the three sides of a triangle, we will get the perimeter of a triangle. Okay, fine. Uh, my another uh, formula is, the next formula is about the rectangle. So what is the rectangle? You know the rectangle. Then the properties of rectangle is every angle is right angle. Okay, so every angle is right angle. This angle, this, this one, and this one. Every angle is right angle. And opposite sides are congruent. Opposite sides are parallel. This one and uh, this one. And this line and this line is parallel. Okay. And opposite sides are equal. Okay. So, uh, the, what is the area of rectangle? Area equal to length multiplied breadth. Okay. Sometimes we call breadth as width. Okay. So, uh, what is the length? This line is called length. And this one is breadth. Okay. So, area equal to length into Bread. And what is the perimeter? Perimeter equal to 2 multiply first bracket L plus B. L represent length and B represent breadth. So uh, at the same time, I want to mention if we add the four sides, we will get the perimeter of rectangle. Okay. To represent two lengths and two breadth. Okay. So you have two length, two breadth. That's why. I have to multiply 2 into L plus B. Okay. Then upcoming uh, topic is circle. The area of circle is very popular and we all know it. So area is pi r square. Pi r square. Yes. So r means the radius. You know that. What is radius? You know all. I know it. So what is the radius? Radius is the distance from the center of a circle to the circumference. So here is the center and this uh, distance around the circle, okay? Around the circle, this is my uh, circumference. And from this point to this, this distance is called radius. And this one is my diameter. What is the diameter? A straight line passing through the center. This line passing through the center, okay? The center of a circle touches both sides of the circumference. This line and this line touches uh, here and here, the circumference. So this is my diameter and this is my radius. And there is a relation between uh, radius and diameter. Diameter is double. Okay, diameter, uh, diameter is double of radius. So D equal to, I can write D equal to 2R. Okay, so here is the radius. The area is pi R square. So, uh, R is radius and the circumference, circumference is, we can call it perimeter at the same time circumference. So, circumference is very popular. 2 pi R. Okay. Or pi D. D means diameter. Okay. So, uh, what is pi? What does it mean? Do you know all what is uh, pi? Okay. So, pi is actually an irrational number. Uh, whose value is approximately uh, 3.1416 okay 
So my upcoming topic is a square. Okay viewers, this is a square and uh, do you know the properties of a square? Is all four sides are equal and all four angles are right angles. So this one is 90 degree, this one is 90 degree, this one is 90 degree and this one is 90 degree. And all sides are equal, okay. So what is the area of a square? Area is one side multiply one side. That means uh, if uh, there is given one value, okay, one side's value, we can calculate the area. Okay, one side multiply one side, this one with this one. And what is the perimeter? Perimeter is 4 into 4 multiplied with one side. So if um, we multiply one side by 4, 4 multiply one side, we will get the perimeter. Okay. Sometimes uh, we can uh, write it 4 into A or 4 into S. S means side, A means side 2. Okay. So um, next is trapezium. Do you know what is a trapezium? Or um, we can call it trapezoid. British are called this a trapezium, and American are called a trapezoid. Okay. So uh, trapezium actually a quadrilateral with two parallel sides. Here, if you uh, notice it, so this line and this line are parallel lines. Okay. So what is the area of trapezium? Area is half multiply first bracket a plus b into a s s means height okay so what is a plus b a is one parallel side and b is another parallel side okay here please let's see this this line this line is a and this line is b so they are the parallel sides so half into sum of the parallel sides into height okay so what is the perimeter perimeter is the sum of the four sides just like A plus B plus C plus D. They, re they represent the sides. Okay. So if we add the four sides, we will get the perimeter of trapezium. Okay. The next one is parallelogram. Parallelogram is a quadrilateral whose uh, opposite sides are equal, whose opposite angles are same. Okay. So what is the area of the parallelogram? The area is base into height base multiply height okay so this line is base this line is base and this line is called height I can draw it here I can also draw it here this line is height so base multiply with height I will get the area of parallelogram okay so what is that perimeter the formula is perimeter formula perimeter is 2 multiply with a plus b here a represent the base length b represent the side length so 2 multiply with base length plus side length base length mean this line is called the base length and this line is called side length this line is side length this line is base length okay so just uh, just like um, the rectangle okay the perimeter is same as the rectangle and the final one is rhombus Final one is a rhombus and a very important figure. Okay, rhombus. Have you any idea about the rhombus? Okay, I know some of you uh, know this. Okay, rhombus. So a rhombus actually a figure whose all four sides are equal. All four sides are equal and opposite angles are same. So I have uh, drawn two lines here and they are called diagonals from this point to this point this line is called diagonals and this line is called diagonals so I actually draw it to find out the area because its area is half multiply product of diagonals okay product of diagonals these lines are called diagonals that's why we need this area equal to half multiply a multiply b that means products of two diagonals and uh, what is the perimeter perimeter is just same as the square 4 multiply one side so uh, if i get the value of one side and multiply with 4 i will get the value of perimeter so we all now know the important figures 
area and the perimeter okay next i will discuss some mathematics of this chapter by using the formulas of areas and perimeters of these figures okay so the please likes and comment to my tutorial to inspire me see you in the next tutorial thank you